Uh, we're joined here by uh, Aaron, who's signed with us. Uh, you were on loan, obviously, end of last season. Uh, was it something like last eight games, something like that, last ten games? Yeah, it's about nine or ten. Yeah, nine or ten, ten games. Like so from that point of view, obviously, um, you were having a look at us, we were having a look at you, but obviously, the one thing that was in the mix was obviously you, you lived um, sort of south of Shrewsbury, is that right? Yeah, Hereford, so... Which is quite... It's, you can't oh. travel that in a day, can you? No, I'll be moving up here, definitely. Um, takes about two... Well, a good run about 2.45, something like that. But I'm looking forward to moving up here. It's a different challenge for me, so hopefully I'll go on. Obviously, you coming here and us looking at you, you looking at us. Um, I think I, I, I talk for everybody when I say that um, you made a, a, a difference. The more you got into how the team played and etc, etc, the more the lads find out how you played. Uh, and I, I don't think I would go too far away with that saying we played more football in the last eight or nine games probably because of you <laughs> well, um, nice to say James well no it, it, uh, you know um, we go on the message board and every single person on there wants I, I hope we sign Aaron Wildig oh, stay off those things uh, for, yeah, well, first year at Shrewsbury I wasn't playing well and I went on there and once just one day I went on there and it didn't do any good for my confidence so I've stayed off there since well so. quite rightly but I'm just telling you that's, that's what they're saying everybody wants to sign you uh, and obviously we signed uh, Peter Murphy last week yeah. and every single person went on great signing can we get Will Dig <laughs> so uh, obviously we're in the know uh, and you've signed so it's it, it's a big move for you though but you, you, you're young enough I suppose to, to sort of like take the geographical change yeah um, it is a big move it's a big time in my career obviously at 23 now I've got it's I've got to have a good few seasons. I've played over 100 games, but it's been drips and drabs. It's been like I played, started well at Cardiff under Dave Jones, and then he got the sack, and it didn't work out with Malcolm McKay. Went up to Scotland for a bit, didn't really enjoy it for one reason or another. Then Shrewsbury, like I said, first season was bad for him. The second season in League One, I played well. I was probably like one of their better players that season, and then ended up getting injured, and then come back at the end of the season, but it was a bit too little too late then to, to stay up. But... Um, it's a big season for me. I want to go and play as much football as I can. And moving up here, as soon as I knew the manager wanted to bring me, I've, I like playing for the manager. I want to do well for him. And he gave me the chance when, after not playing all season, not many managers would have looked at me to come in and do a job for the last few games of the season. Do you know what I mean? So for him to give me that chance, I, I want to repay him and hopefully do well for him. It, it's something that uh, Jim does quite well, actually, because we, we managed to get a couple of people last season through taking him on a loan near the end of the season. And I think it suits both parties quite well. Would you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I thought I went to Kidderminster for a month, didn't really enjoy it. There wasn't much football played, and I like to pass on that. I'm not really the physical type of player. So going to the conference, I was, it was all missing me out a bit. And I went back to Shrewsbury, managed to come off the bench, I think it was once. And then to, I just thought, that's me now. That my season's just going to weather out here, and I'm going to have to go on trial and that in the summer. And then to be called on the Friday, I think it was before the Carlisle away game, and be told that I was. Uh, Going to go there for a month. It was a no-brainer for me just to go out and get games. And like I said, I was just grateful for the manager for taking that chance to give me a few games because not many managers would have took it knowing I'd hardly kicked the ball all season. So, yeah. well, like I say, I go back to it. Um, by the end of it, I'm, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but you look like you were actually enjoying your football. Yeah, season come at the wrong season come to an end at the wrong time for me. Um, there was a game where I'd feel good in, and then because the game was three days after, there was like games quite thick and fast for over the Easter period, and, I, and then the next game would catch up with me. But then I'd feel good for the next game, and then it would come the end of the season, like the last game of the season. I felt like I could run all day the last day of the season, but I just didn't want the season to end after that. So it's just um, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's just come at the wrong time for me, but can't wait to get going now. Yeah, the last game of the season, you uh, played your part in uh, not quite ruining South End season, but almost. <laughs> Because yeah. obviously you got on the score sheet that day. Yeah, I got on the score sheet and I think I sat up the first as well. And I enjoyed the game, to be fair. I think uh, obviously we had no pressure on us and with them uh, coming here, with, it was it had all the recipe to, to turn out the way it did. So it's a nice game to play in actually because there was, obviously when there's no pressure on you and the opposition are coming here with everything to lose, it was a, it was a good game to play. So what are your hopes uh, for next season then? Because obviously uh, you're among uh, quite a few new signings. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy's hoping that he's strengthening the areas that we definitely needed and one of them was uh, particularly, uh, shall we say, a, a midfield artisan, which I think I'd probably class you as. Uh, what, what are your expectations? Um, to get in the team, to start with, I want to try and get in the team. Um, obviously there's quite a lot of competition in midfield with uh, the signing the other day. Uh, the lads are already here, I think Flemo and that re-signed, so there's a lot of um, competition in there, so hopefully to... I think it's six weeks in pre-season to do well in the minutes you get because you don't play every minute in pre-season. It's chop and change. When you get on the pitch, you've got to do well and 
then when you get a chance throughout the season, you've got to take your chance, whether it's in the first game or whether it's in the 21st game, or whatever, you've just got to take your chance to stay in the team, and hopefully uh, that's what I'll do. So if I do that and then score a few goals, hopefully that's what I'd like to do, get a few goals, um, a few assists, affect the game, and hopefully we'll have a good season. So what do you, where do you see as your, your best position? I'm not sure, to be fair. Um, but I don't mind, you know, what, like they play a deeper one and then a two in front, I don't mind that, or... A midfield two I've played in quite a lot, or uh, just behind this, like a one striker and two behind. I don't mind that. I played that in the last day of the season. Um, played there, so anywhere in the middle of the park. I, for shoes, but I played out wide a few times, but I just kept coming inside and that, and it can kind of kill a shape. So, but yeah, as long as I'm on the pitch and I feel like I'm playing well, you don't really mind, do you? But it's preferably in the middle of the park. I, I you, you, you seem to be, to me anyway, most effective when you're. The, uh, the one who was getting beyond the midfield. Yeah. Uh, it was noticeable that when we played the first 20 minutes at York before we had to change the shape and the South End game and, and a few others, you were the one bombing on and as you said, you set up the goal for Jack Redshaw yeah. in the South End. I, I would say, you know, that was you, you were sort of like, we didn't have anybody who could do that and you were the person who was yeah, doing that. You were making it a bit different. A few managers said that. They, they say um, it's quite clever how I see forward runs, when to go forward, when there's a space to go into. So I think that would be one of my strengths. So, uh, yeah, that would be one of my strengths, yeah. So, what's the plan for the summer then? Obviously, you're looking brown already. You said you've been away. <laughs> yeah, well, a few weeks, yeah. A few weeks away, so that's nice. And really, is it, is it just about uh, sort of finding somewhere locally? Are you going to sort of like, have you got somewhere in Manchester way with the Manchester lads? Are you sort of like Cheshire way? I think or? I'll move up here. I might as well move up here all the way, I think, rather than move up here to Manchester and then travel an hour in every day and an hour back. This doesn't really make sense, I don't think. So, I think I'm going to try and make my way all the way up here and uh, maybe Lancaster or... I don't know, see what's around. Well, there's quite a, quite a few of the lads who've made the, made the move up. Uh, Barry Roach and a couple of others are a lot nearer than they used to be when they first signed. So uh, right. you'll be in a, a, not being a mutually exclusive club there. Um, thanks for talking to us. Good luck next season. Thanks a lot. Uh, I'm not going to put a target on you for goals or anything like that. <laughs> I'll just uh, carry on the form that you started with us. Cheers. Welcome to Morecambe Football thanks Club. Thanks a lot. Right. Appreciate that. Cheers. Thank you. How's that? Good yeah,